on the eve of the state centennial, it's probably fair to say 100 years is generally beyond the scope of what most children can understand. And more importantly, perhaps relate to. And recognizing that, our next guest and her co-author set out to explain Arizona history in a way that wants kids wanting more. So the name of the book is Arizona Way Out West and Witty by Conrad Storad and Linda Exley. We have Linda with us here on the show today. Nice to have you here. Thank you so much. You, you described it perfectly. I mean, this is a book about Arizona's history, and we wanted to get all the important things in history as well as making it fun for kids. And you'll notice that we have the Arizona Centennial Legacy Project seal on both our books. So they, and what does that mean? The Arizona Historical Society has approved it as a project about Arizona for Arizona's centennial. So they've basically given the nod and say, this is a great way to teach the young minds in our state about our rich history. Yes, and it actually has to go through the legislature to be approved. So okay, it's a big fantastic. deal for us. And then the One Book Arizona, we're real proud of that. All the kids in the state and their parents too, I'm sure, have voted for our book to be the one book Arizona for kids this year for 2012. So that means all the libraries will have it and they'll be doing programs on it. So we're really, really proud of that. Okay, well speaking of programs, when you go out there and you teach the kids um, a little bit about our state history, if the parents are there, I would imagine they learn a lot too because quite <laughs> frankly, um, there are a lot of um, transplant families, uh, people who are here and then they leave and they come back. And I, I don't, I think we kind of, um, take for granted that people know our history. Yes, even living here for 20 years myself, I learned a lot researching this book. How do you make it relatable to kids? What, what was your mission in this and what will we find when we open the pages of this book? Well, there is a lot of history in this book, but it is hidden in there with all the fun stuff. So if you notice, for instance, this chapter here is on the name game. We talk about how different cities got their names. Mm -hmm. um, you've heard of Sholo, that's the common story, but did you know that Cornville was actually supposed to be named Conville? No. It was a mistake. It wasn't supposed to be named uh, Conville, or Cornville. Cornville the, yes. So they, they mm -hmm. misspelled it, and all of a sudden yes, that became did. history. And so we teach huh. kids, you know, you better have good handwriting. <laughs> <laughs> That's the truth. And That's another thing we go over is like this character here. What's his name? His name is JR, stands for Johnny Ringo, and the Ringo part is off his tail because he's a ring tail. Oh. Yes, and that is Arizona's state mammal, official state mammal. And we have a full-size costume character that comes to schools with us. Okay, and so when you go to the mm -hmm. schools, you teach kids um, everything from um, kind of the roots, uh, Native American. I was reading yes. through some of it last, last weekend. Um, you teach them about the cities. You teach them about the uh, topography, really everything. I was really surprised by how presentable you made it in, with the information. That was the idea, to make it something that kids want to read. And we do, when we do our presentations at school, we'll cover all the important stuff, like the history and the names and, and when we became a state and all of that kind of stuff. But then we got to throw in some fun for kids. Right. I was kind of wondering, what, what, what were we doing with this right here? Yes. Now, this, kids love this. When they get the names right on our answer game, I hand them out a, a acorn. Let's see if I can do this. Oh, a little bit. Not much. With the it's like a top. Yeah, but this is the original spinning top. Kids had to play with what they had around. Uh -huh. And so acorns, corn husks, these are really rough, but if you soak them in water, you can bend them and fashion them into corn husk dolls. Uh -huh. And they played with balls and hoops. Let me see you try to give a hand at that one. Wow. <laughs> Okay. It's, it's much harder. Th oh, way to go. <laughs> oh, you win some box of crayons. I win crayons. Yay. <laughs> and then in the front here, I have some hoops. They played with wooden hoops, and they would do the... The, uh, and this is the races. historical part of things. We're learning not this, only about the state and um, the geography and, and all of the components, but also about the, the people. And, yes, um, the history of how things came about as they did. This is what kids did 100 years ago. Well, Linda, I mean, we could talk for an entire hour and probably still have more information that was not covered here but is in this book. And so I want to just encourage everybody to pick up a copy of this. We're going to provide information on how you can purchase this book, but essentially you can get it at any bookstore you can find in the valley just ask for um, Arizona way out west and witty and then if you're taking part in some of the centennial celebrations they will be out at the state capitol tomorrow for all of the festivities there as well it's yes, good to we meet will. you thank you it's it was a wonderful great book. to meet you too I made you it like through it. about half of it <laughs> I didn't I ran out of time <laughs>